Hey everyone, welcome back to another second stimulus check and second stimulus package, unemployment benefits extension update, and also happy Friday or happy weekend depending on when you're watching this because I do believe that this video will probably still be relevant over the next couple of days. But basically, we have recently just received word about a brand new stimulus proposal that recent, and I mean like a totally brand new proposal because obviously there's been so many different proposals which maybe on one bright side does mean that we are starting to see a lot of action and a lot of things happening, but we have received word about a brand new stimulus proposal that is basically a standalone proposal that's going to include the $1,200 stimulus checks. In other words, that $1,200 stimulus checks, it is back. And I think that is one of the really, really great news. Now, I have actually mentioned before is that even though there are a lot of different proposals, and I know that there's a lot of people that maybe have doubt whether one proposal will pass, maybe one is good, one is not so good. I still do believe that all of these proposals, it is probably relatively insightful and good to know because even if a certain proposal doesn't pass, I still think it's insightful only because every single proposal that gets put put on the table, it does show intent. So why this is particularly good is, is because it kind of signals what every single party wants and what every single party is basically fighting for. So by having a certain proposal, so kind of like how we mentioned how there's two proposals, two of the many proposals is the 916 and then the 908 proposal. $8 billion proposal, one has stimulus checks, one has unemployment. Why I still think it's insightful is because even if neither of these proposals pass, the fact that we have some intent to put stimulus checks and we have some intent to put unemployment, the idea, hope, and dream and goal is that maybe they can finally compromise and come up with some kind of stimulus package in the future so whatever does actually hopefully finally approve and pass involves both. And I think that is really why I think it's still relatively insightful. But we're going to be talking all about this brand new stimulus proposal. We're going to be talking about kind of what's on the table, what's been going on in the world of stimulus talks. So with that being said, we're going to get this video started right away. But before we begin, make sure you smash the like button because it does help to support this channel. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for future updates on stimulus checks um, and then other finance topics, especially about unemployment. A lot of the unemployment programs, I have a lot of other videos I'll put at the end screen and the description and of course on my channel page so that you guys can maybe check out if you're interested in learning about what programs are out there. So with that being said, we're going to start. Oh, and feel free to comment any questions, thoughts about anything, or if you wanted to just say hi, it's always great to see familiar faces, especially as we head into this weekend and holiday season. All right, now let's get this video started. So we have recently received a brand new proposal now that's going to be a standalone bill. I believe it's priced at right around $300 billion. And this bill is gonna include $1,200 stimulus checks to basically almost every single adult individual making below $75,000. And dependent children are gonna receive 500. So if you guys have any kids of some kind, the requirements I believe are basically identical to the stimulus part of the original CARES Act. So if you qualified for the first stimulus check, then you will also qualify for this stimulus check. I believe the story is that this proposal has been written by basically also a bipartisan group. I think the two, the leaders right now that are involved in this is basically Josh Hawley and Bernie Sanders. Um, if you guys, most of you guys probably know, but Hawley is a Republican, Sanders is a Democrat. I believe AOC and then I believe AOC and then a lot of other like individuals have kind of joined in to kind of try to preach for the stimulus checks. So why this is particularly maybe a great bill is, is I think because first, because it's such a simple bill, it means that hopefully it becomes easier to pass. So we don't have to debate over all of the different things like state, local government, you know, aid and all that kind of stuff. And I think it's because both sides are already in relative support of a stimulus check anyway. At least they certainly were back around election time. And for most of the negotiations before you know these two smaller bills really came out so and I think also the big thing is because it's also being written by a bipartisan support group I think that the great news is hopefully it can kind of overcome a lot of bias because as we've kind of mentioned is that there have been a lot of political related stuff that has kind of gone on over the last couple of months that I think as opposed to like if you had a bill that was all Republican or a bill that was all Democrat the likelihood is is that that particular bill is probably going to get turned down by the other side, not even because of the quality of the bill, but just because of the bias reason of 
what that bill represents, just purely off of like the bias reason. Um, so I think that the great news is is that it is relatively bipartisan, and I think because it's a simple bill, it doesn't have you know all of the details. It's just a stimulus standalone bill. It hopefully becomes a lot more easier to approve and finally pass and sign of some kind. And I also do believe is that there they've been on a lot of news outlets talking about it. And just from my personal opinion, I think another great thing about both of these about this specific bill, I think, is that. I think a lot of the senators are saying the right words right now. They're saying the words I think that actually make sense and that really represent us. And I think is that just from hearing like what OAOC, a lot of these other senators, Bernie has really been been preaching on the news. They have probably been preaching what most of us believe, which is the good thing because we finally have somewhat of our voice being heard. Um, some level of it because they have been mentioning about how the unemployment rate as you guys know from yesterday's video feel free to check it out if you guys are interested the unemployment rate bumped up I believe that they said about 800,000 people applied for traditional unemployment and about 1.2 got on unemployment if you include people in the PUA unemployment and the fact that about 12 million people are basically on the verge of ending unemployment in crazy to think two weeks that is the really really crazy thing is that they are really trying to voice for us they're telling the things that I think actually make sense that are right hopefully now that they have the right words we just have to see the right action and that them physically finally actually doing it and actually succeeding in doing it because they are taking action I think that's the really great news but we just have to see if they finally can pull through and sign it now in terms of what to expect for next week because next week as most of us know is probably going to be one of the most important weeks is basically the biggest date to know is exactly one week from now December 18th is going to be the final deadline to do some kind of stimulus proposal by the end of the year now between today and that particular date so basically over the next seven days I think the idea is that they're going to be continuing doing a lot of the stimulus talks they're going to be trying to get all of it in finalized writing and I think the idea is they're going to be trying to make those final negotiations to maybe create some kind of tweak the bipartisan bill is being tweaked almost every single day as as we're kind of speaking so they are kind of adding things they're taking things out they're negotiating they're thinking about how they want to change different things to kind of hopefully try to compromise every each and every single person the hope is is that they can maybe try to finally approve and pass something before Friday in the couple of days before Friday so that maybe they can finally go off into their vacation the other big thing why I think the time is sensitive is also because on Friday so as in next Friday is also when the government shutdown is gonna potentially happen it was actually supposed to be today but then they did recently pass and approve a bill that was gonna extend it by one more week and I think the story is now is that they they're trying to tr hopefully try to pass the stimulus package with the government funding together in one kind of bill so it does put a little bit of pressure because they they hopefully have some kind of incentive to also pass a bill as well so that they can save their own own jobs so they, they can save their own jobs and the government as well to keep it running I do also believe that both Mitch McConnell and Pelosi have voiced that they do not plan to go on vacation until they finally signed and approved some kind of stimulus before the end of the year now whether they carry through with their words we're gonna have to watch because there have been many times that they've kind of said something and then they kind of turned away or they changed up their words but if they keep their promise then we should hopefully see something by the end of next week but there's no guarantees and I do tell people is to just go in with an open mind keep the expectations very humble because this year has been involved with a lot of different things that kind of just happened but hope for the best especially with the holiday season coming up but I think the big thing is that the timeline is that the time is getting very urgent the next couple of days we're gonna see new proposals or new edits of the proposals that we currently have the government funding the deadlines gonna be December 18th and then crazy to think the following week is gonna be Christmas and then they're probably going to be on their Christmas break and then the following week is gonna be New Year's so the rest of this year is pretty epic the deadline, Christmas, and the New Year's. But hopefully we can finally just finish through this crazy, hectic year and 
look forward to maybe brighter days. Of course, we don't know right now, but that's really the hope, I think. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well. Remember to smash the like button if you haven't done so. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for future updates, especially with a lot of news starting to roll out over the next couple of days into next week in the holiday season. Um, and feel free to comment any questions, thoughts, um, really about anything at all. Even if you wanted to say hi, it's always great to literally hear who's currently still out there. And with that being said, happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.